gang, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the channel if you have never been here before. I am so glad you found me because the videos on this channel can help heal more than 90% of any health, wellness, and body image challenge. I do specialize in individualized nutrition, weight loss, and healing autoimmune diseases. However, there are a whole bunch of other videos on this channel with other info that anyone can really benefit from, especially this one. I have been asked a bunch of times in my life how I make huge life decisions. Take the blue pill, the story ends. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And they're scary decisions. Ones like running away from a wedding or moving across the country, selling everything to travel. And people tend to ask, how do you make these decisions and how can you feel confident in them? When is it time to let go and break up with somebody? Like these are big decisions that we end up needing to make in our lives. But no matter what decision you're making, I like to trust my body to give me the answer. Tell me what you think it is. It's a couple of wavy lines. Sorry, this isn't your lucky day. <laughs> really, it's your higher self, your inner being, whatever you want to call it. I don't trust instinct. That's because you're defining it in some woo-woo spiritual way. Don't. Instead, think of your gut as the deepest part of you. Separate it from your fears, your hopes, the other voices in your head, because if you don't cultivate instinct and listen to it, you're doomed. Oftentimes, we tend to filter everything through our own perceptions and fear is a huge driver in many people's lives. And sometimes, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between what you really should do or is it fear holding you back? You're the one that's gotta carry that fear around inside you. It's gonna bother you for the rest of your life. And if I lose? At least you lose with no excuses, no fear. So I do have a way to make big decisions and to know when it's time to let go of a marriage, of a relationship, of a job, of maybe toxic friends, it doesn't matter. When is it time to let go of something in your life? Because we get very attached to things in our lives and sometimes, you know, our inner beings, our higher selves will know that the best thing for us is to let that go. But there's a lot of fear that comes into that as well. And a lot of, well, what if? And should I, shouldn't I, what if? have been a killer for me in the past. So I'm going to teach you today how you can have confidence in any of these even small but especially the hard bigger decisions in your life. One thing that is very important to know is that your body cannot lie. I'm going to insert a clip here right now about a lie detector test that I often show people when I do public speaking engagements. So I'm just gonna show you a little lie detector test. We don't know each other. So put your left arm just straight out. I'm gonna ask you to tell me your real name and your real age, don't lie. And I'm gonna put pressure down in your arm and just resist that. So what is your name and your age? Uh, Joyce Olson, I'm 40. Resist. I'm putting a lot of pressure. Okay, now I want you to lie to me and tell me a totally fake age and a fake name. Caught candy, I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> you. you can't lie if you're using your body to tell you the answer. So here is how I do this. Make sure that you're in a quiet space, that you have enough time, you're not rushed, there are no distractions. If you could clear out all that space in your mind that you're using to obsess over this guy in your failed marriage, you'd have a vacuum with a doorway. And you know what the universe would do with that doorway? Rush in. Distractions, get rid of them if you're trying to make a decision. And everything starts with breath. Take a deep belly breath, hold at the top, slowly let it go. It does not matter if you exhale through the nose or the mouth, but inhale through the nose. And then if you wanna exhale through the nose as well, that's fine. The reason why is because there are little tubules in our nostrils that actually activate our parasympathetic nervous system. So this nervous system is responsible for rest, repair, digestion, elimination, it's the nourishing nervous system. In this way, we are stifling the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight, stress response nervous system. So it's important to really be breathing in through the nose, the exhaling through the mouth, whatever. Just make sure that you are inhaling and exhaling as well if you want to through the nose. 
So what I would do is take a few deep breaths. If you get thoughts, allow them to come and go like clouds in the sky. I don't really personally agree with trying to stop thought in meditation. It's called a practice for a reason. So your thoughts eventually, once you practice enough, will slow down. They may even stop, but it is entirely natural to continue having an influx of thoughts going through your head when you're sitting there. As they come through your head, let them pass like clouds. Don't judge them. Just detach. Oh, that's interesting. Next. Oh, that's interesting. Detach. Let's say that you can't decide whether or not you need to leave a career. There's a lot riding on this. You might lose a lot. Very, very tough decision. So what I want you to do is imagine that you are leaving it or that you have made the decision to leave this career. If you feel a rising up of energy in your body, any kind of rising of vibration or energy, that is a yes. If you feel a kind of depression of your energy and you feel a kind of sinking down or closing in, that is a no. I truly believe no matter what decision you're making, everything does happen for a reason. Oftentimes we might not know the reason until it's way later, but you need to always, always trust your gut, trust your intuition. Humans were born with intuitions for a reason. We look at the animal kingdom, they just somehow know what to do. We have that too. Too. It's just that unfortunately in our Western civilization and because of other goings on in our lives, we often can't anymore hear our true intuition. Sometimes it's clouded over with too much emotion, too much logic. It's really about getting in touch with your intuition. The information highway between the gut and the big brain, the vagus nerve, is 90% information traveling from the digestive tract to the brain and not the other way around. Our gut is telling us how to feel. You could do muscle testing. So for example, take your two fingers. Think about, should I stay in this job or not? A yes means that it's hard, just like that lie detector test I showed you, it's hard to press your fingers closed if you're resisting with these fingers. If it's a no, it'll close right up easily. And a lot of people do rely on that. That is my biggest tip for you on how to make really tough life decisions. Don't worry, there are no such thing as mistakes in life. Sometimes we take detours, sometimes we choose alternate routes, but life is the most fantastic choose your own adventure you could ever imagine. And please, if there is something that your heart is desiring or your soul wants to do, go do that. Because life is short and one day, you're gonna wake up and realize there isn't any more time to do what you wanna do. I had a really awesome read through an article about people on their deathbeds and they were asked what their biggest regrets were in life and it was always not going for it, not going for that big career, not taking the risks. Risks are a part of life and I encourage you to explore those. If you thought this video was helpful, informative, or entertaining at all, please give it a thumbs up down there for me because that lets me know what kind of content to keep producing for you. If you would like a notification each time I post a new video, please hit that little bell notification icon down there and you will be notified each time I upload. And please, please subscribe to this channel. It is absolutely free. It's just like having a favorites tab on the internet and it gives you a place to come back to to see all of the the other tips I have on how you can reach your health, wellness, and body image goals faster than you might have thought possible otherwise. So until next time, have super amounts of fun in your life. Have super amounts of fun exploring the answers that your body gives you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.